honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. We had some fun at the beginning of the podcast. But now it's time to educate. And before I dive into it, I just want to make it clear. Whenever I screenshot something that I saw from someone, you know, and I hate doing it from people that I know personally, I really don't like it. But if I see something that I can use to educate, I'm going to use it. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad because I know this, this stuff sometimes is people that I know personally and might get back to the person. I'm going to be honest. I don't care. I'm not putting your name in here. I'm not revealing you. I'm not insulting you directly. But listen, this is a good teaching point, man. It's a good teaching point. So look, get ready. <laughs> get ready. Don't get offended. <laughs> be ready, though. All right? So we got this picture here. I had, I had to, you know. I cropped the person's name out. If you see it and you know who it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to say the person's name. All right. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or one of the other platforms and you can't see, I'm just going to explain it to you. So we had this girl. She's in a car. She has a Chick-fil-A bowl full of lettuce. It looks like it could be uh, you know, like some romaine lettuce, maybe some kale in there. I can't really tell. She has a caption over top of the bowl that says, Been going strong with pescatarian lifestyle. No meat. With an exclamation point. I saw this. I was like, oh, brother. Oh, oh brother. Here we go again, man. So, I've been doing this training thing for a long time. So, I have a good, I have a good eye. And a good <laughs> A good sense for sniffing out frauds and seeing frauds, right? So she writes pescatarian lifestyle. First, let's start. What's pescatarian? Okay. Pescatarian means you eat fish. Okay. You don't eat chicken. You don't eat red meat. Right. You don't eat turkey. Eat. Your, your, your main source of protein is fish. She writes no meat with an exclamation point. As if that means pescatarian. <laughs> Completely wrong. Does not mean that at all. Right? So that's the first thing I saw. I'm like, no meat. Like, you're not even... What was the point of writing pescatarian if you're going to write no meat? Because you just got it all wrong. <laughs> all right? The second thing I thought about. If you are a true pescatarian, if you really do this and you really live that lifestyle, why are you going to Chick-fil-A? What are you doing going to Chick-fil-A? What are you doing going to a fast food restaurant specifically known for chicken? That didn't make sense to me. If, if, if you don't eat chicken and you wanted a salad, you would go somewhere else. You wouldn't go to a chicken place, which makes me think she had to get something else from there, bro. Who goes to Chick-fil-A and just, um, unless you're getting, the, I think they got like the Cobb salad. Or, there are specific salads at Chick-fil-A that people are going to get. I ain't never heard nobody go to Chick-fil-A and just get a bowl of lettuce. And that's what I'm saying, bro, like. It's no need to, like, the, the, the faking of healthy lifestyle. And listen, you ain't got to fake it. We can look at you and tell what type of time you be on. And I'm not saying that being cocky because I know I don't look the best. I know it's men that look better than me. But come on, people. And I know I've been in the game. I've been in fitness. So it's easier for me to spot stuff like out like that. But that's why I'm educating y'all so y'all can learn how to point out the bullshit. Y'all can learn how to point it out. Y'all can learn how to eat healthier and uh, what not to listen to and what to listen to. All right? Then another thing, too. It's 2023. We got to get rid of this no meat is healthy mindset. Nope. We got we to gotta, we gotta get rid of that narrative. Okay, that narrative is not true. Okay, first thing, the most important macronutrient 
right? For our bodies and for changing your body and losing fat and losing weight is protein, okay? So to completely lack it and cut it out of your diet is not smart. I did a post a while back about vegans and how true vegans that are that really work out, they still get protein. They don't get it from fish, chicken, turkey, red meat. They get it from other sources. Right? So here she has just lettuce. There's literally zero protein from there. Anybody who tells you they get all their protein from vegetables, they're lying. You're not going to get a significant amount of protein. Okay? You will have to eat so much lettuce to reach that goal and nobody's eating that much you would literally be eating all day like literally so it's not happening so we got to get rid of that narrative so i find it hard to believe that she went there specifically for a bowl of lettuce and didn't get anything else didn't get no chicken didn't get no french fries on the side or something okay because she could have easily got no meat and got some french fries with it and uh, um i was going to say a milkshake or something it's probably you probably could have got a milkshake which is dairy, which would be not pescatarian. So, and that's what I'm saying. You're not just going to Chick Fil A to get a bowl of lettuce. I'm not stupid. I mean, like, come on now. When, 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 when is that the? When was that like the go-to? Like, where did y'all get that from? Like, just get a bowl of lettuce and you're healthy. Like, what's the? Fuck? Like, that don't even make no sense. Okay. And again, I'm not doing this to throw shade at this person but honestly like somebody on her page could see this and be like that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just get a bowl of lettuce bad advice that's why i'm doing this somebody gonna see some shit like this and they do this and this is not the way to go okay if you want to know shoot me a dm i'm actually i'm gonna start doing some nutrition lessons i'm gonna add that to the podcast as well um, you know, I'm gonna keep doing the reactions and, and joking because that's what y'all like. But I'm I'm a, I'm gonna do that too. Um, but um, you know, I know this person for a fact has you know bounced around with trainers, showed up for a week or two, stopped. Come on, um, this person may or may not have surgery. Come on, I mean I'm not, I'm trying not to give clues. And um, I've seen this person. I've seen, you know, and listen, it's no, no shade. No shade. It's the truth. This is the truth. I'm not making this. I've seen this person's body at this point, at a certain point in time, and I see it now, and it's going this way. It's going down. Okay? So this person is trying. She she wants her body to get right, so she's trying different things, but she's misguided. She doesn't have the, the education. And that's why you invest in a trainer for someone to teach you. And it can't just be you go there for a week or two and you bouncing around. It's not going to work. You can't do that. That's why she's going this way. So she's going down. All right. And I under, and people are, people are trying. People are desperate for their body to change. And this, <laughs> this person specifically is someone who has been critical of my content telling me I'm insane and don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, and you see something like this, and it's like you 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 really out of your mind to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, no one has ever done everything I've asked them to do and not gotten results. Now people have trained with me and not gotten results, but what are they doing when they leave the training session? The training session is one hour. You got another twenty three hours outside of there. I ain't with you there twenty three hours. Okay. But nobody has done exactly what I've asked them to do and not gotten results. That's, that's just a lie if they told you that. It's just a lie. I've been doing this too long. Crazy, man. But yeah, I saw that picture. I'm like, yo, I, I, I can use this as a teaching point. I'm not trying to yeah, be mean to anybody, but it's real. It's real, bro. It's real. People do not no basic nutrition knowledge and i'm not the smartest nutrition person on earth right I, i'm i know surface level maybe a little bit below surface level I, you know i got i got through the surface a little bit i know a little something but uh yeah man that just 
That's bad. Please don't just be eating a bowl of lettuce. Please don't cut out fruits. Please don't cut out, uh, you know, you got to understand the importance of protein. You, you know, like people will say, All right, I, I cut out meat. I don't eat any more meat. Pause. I don't eat any more meat. <laughs> right? But they're not going to blame the sugar. They're not going to blame the alcohol. And listen, low key, man, sugar, though, sugar is like one of them. Sugar's damn near, in my book, sugar's a drug. I look at sugar as a drug. It's a slow, silent killer. Like you do that over the years, it's going. It's, it could mess with your teeth. It could give you all type, lead to all types of diseases and conditions. Um, you know, sugar is a silent killer. Nobody wants to blame the sugar. Nobody wants to blame the oily food. You eating out all the time. Listen, you don't know what they're cooking it in. They could be they cooking that stuff in oils and butters, and that stuff ain't good for you to eat out all the time. It's not like. It's good to eat a, a home cooked meal or, or get you a, a, a meal prep company. To, to, I ain't I ain't feel like cooking. Like I've been, I've been busy as hell doing all types of stuff. I ordered some meal preps, got dropped off. I just ate one before I did the podcast. Like get you a meal prep company. But eating out all the time, that stuff is not good for you. Nobody wants to blame that. Nobody wants to blame the alcohol. Nobody wants to blame the smoking vapes and the hookah and listen, man. We do so much bullshit. You really got to take an inventory of what you're doing. And people want to blame eating a piece of chicken. It's crazy. Crazy. Not to mention, we've been, you know, you know, we've been doing this. We've been eating meat for years. As a, as a, as a, um, as a species, humans have, you know. It's just, it's, it's, it's the truth. But look, man, if you want to blame something, look really look at the bullshit that you put in your body. Get Look at the nutrition facts. And I did an episode on nutrition facts a couple uh, episodes ago. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best friends in DMV.